Male and female zebrafish are mated in a breeding cage in which fertilized eggs fall to the bottom where they can be easily collected. The eggs are then lined up against a microscope slide in a petri dish. Next, the loaded injection needle is clipped and injection settings are manipulated such that the injection bolus is the desired size when measured with a micrometer. Finally, eggs are injected one at a time down the line. Hi, I'm Jonathan Rosen from John Mabley's Laboratory in the Department of Cardiology at Children's Hospital Boston. And I'm Michael Sweeney, also in the Mabley Lab. Today we're going to demonstrate how mRNA or morpholino can be injected into zebrafish embryos. We use this procedure in our laboratory to study the effects of knockdown or overexpression of particular gene products. So, let's, let's get, get started. started. To begin, we'll need to set up the fish in breeding tanks with dividers in place the night prior to injection. To increase total egg production, Fish can be set up in a ratio of two females to one male if desired. The next morning, after the room lights are turned on, pull the dividers from several tanks and allow for approximately 20 minutes of undisturbed mating time. Using a strainer, collect the eggs from the breeding cages and rinse them with egg water before pouring them into a petri dish with egg water. Fish can be regrouped in larger tanks to produce additional rounds of eggs for injection. Adjust the timing of egg collection to allow for the maximum numbers of eggs to be produced without letting them pass the single cell stage.